Hi, my name is Kent Trammell, and I want to welcome you to this quick tip video where I want to address a common question that people have when it comes to Blender's camera, mostly in the form of how do I switch between or animate between multiple cameras. And so to understand this, let's talk about the basics of what a camera is in Blender. So here in this scene, I have our Baker character, and I'm orbiting around what's called the 3D view. And it's the viewport that essentially acts as the perspective of the user. Okay, so this is where all of our modeling takes place. Uh, the majority of the work that you will be doing in Blender takes place in the viewport, but that's not what is rendered. Okay, so when we click render, Blender needs to know from what vantage point should it be rendering. And that's where the camera comes in. So if we hit zero on the number pad, you can see that now I have entered one of our cameras. But out of the three, why did it choose this one? Because it's my active camera. All right, so the obvious problem when you have multiple cameras is which one do I render from? For that reason, we need an active camera. And we can set that multiple ways. Uh, number one, in our scene properties panel, right up at the top under the scene dropdown, we have the camera field. And this is the active camera. So if we click that, we can choose camera number one. And then if we mouse over to the 3D view and hit zero on the number pad, we can see now that the active camera is camera 001. Additionally, we can select any of our cameras and come down to the view menu and choose cameras set active object as camera. And here we can see camera 002, but if you notice in the scene properties panel, that field has not updated. So if we mouse over to that field, you'll see that it switches to camera 002. Also, we can use the hotkey, which is uh, the easiest option if you can remember it. Select a camera, control zero on the number pad. And as our screencast keys tell us, that was set active object as camera. Okay, so that is what the active camera is all about. Now, how do we switch between them through an animation? Or why would you even want to do this? Well, two practical examples are, let's say we have a scene with two characters that are in a conversation. Uh, the animator might want to approach that the same way uh, as on a film set, let's say, with a live action film, where you set up two different cameras and you have the actors act out the entire conversation. And then later you get the footage from both cameras and cut them together. Whereas when one character's talking, typically the camera's looking at them. And then when the other character is talking, the camera angle switches to look at them. So it's possible that an animator would want to do the same thing. And therefore they would animate the entire conversation, set up multiple cameras, and then when they click render, the camera angle would switch appropriately. Also, another practical example is, let's say, if I just wanted to render this character model from multiple angles, or like here, from multiple cameras. One way to handle this is to simply set up the camera angle that you want, click render, when it finishes, switch the camera angle, click render, and do it again for the third camera. Or instead, we could animate the active camera so we only have to click render once. And I will demonstrate this by setting our in frame to three, one frame per camera angle, and then let's zoom in on that just to make a little bit more sense. And then I'll hit zero on the number pad in the 3D viewport to look through the active camera. So it's 002. Or wait, no, that's just the selected object. Okay, camera 001 is the active camera. The way I need to animate this is through markers in the timeline. Okay, so if we now hover our mouse in the timeline and hit M, you'll see this little arrow has appeared and that has added a marker. We can also add that through the marker menu, add marker. And now that we have that marker with it selected, or I hit A, you see that's deselected. Select the marker and then go to the view menu and you'll see this bind camera to markers option or control B. If we hit that control B, it might be hard to see, but there's a little dotted line that has been added on this frame. And that means that our camera has been binded to the marker. Okay, so for frame two, let's hit M to add another marker and then select a new camera, control zero on the number pad which has set this selected camera to be the active camera and hit control B in the timeline. And that has bound the camera to that marker. If we switch between frames with the left and right arrows, you'll see that our camera updates. And then for frame three, I just need to select that other camera, control zero on the number pad, add a marker in the timeline, control B to bind the camera to the marker. And now I have a three frame animation which if I choose to render will result in three images with three distinct camera angles. And that's really all there is to it. That's how you switch between multiple cameras. However, there's one more thing that I want to say or make you aware of. And uh, let's say if I switch my timeline, the end of the timeline to be to frame 10, one through 10. Keep in mind that these markers work like stepped keyframes. 
Okay, so if I select these last two and just hit X, delete markers, switch to frame eight, and then add a new camera marker, control zero in the 3D view, then M in the timeline, control B in the timeline. Even though there's multiple frames between my markers, you'll see that the camera angle switches from frame seven to eight. And from seven to one, it's the same angle. So there's no kind of interpolation between the cameras. It's purely a stepped interpolation, which makes the most sense. I don't really know uh, what kind of interpolation that would be. Anyway, I hope this uh, answers any questions you might have about switching between cameras for animation. Thanks for watching this quick tip from BlenderCookie.com.